So my best friend growing up was this boy named Danny, and he was born with some deficiencies. He had uh, extra salivary glands in his face, you know? He was real just juiced up in the jowls, this boy. <laughs> And when he would smile or feel real joyous, he would spray out the sides of his mouth. So you had to keep a cloth on you, dab him up at the corners, keep him dry. That's friendship. Now, unfortunately, the devil got him twice because he was also born with a wrist in his neck. And I don't know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not, I'm not in that bone game, you know? Uh, Maybe they were out of necks when he was made and they just put a big wrist in there, you know? A wrist, yeah. But about every four seconds, his head would just swing around in a big circle, just like, like that. Just uncontrollably, just a big And he was my best friend, man. He was, all, he was also easy to do magic on. <laughs> so anyway, we grew up in the stray animal belt and that's just an area where God was making a lot of extra animals. Just animals you've probably never even seen a lot of one-offs and outtakes. Uh, animals that didn't cut it in the kingdom, you know? Um, you know, chimpanibras, alapaca keats. Ring a bell, I thought not, right? But I lived by a highway growing up, and a lot of those animals would get hit and killed on the highway, right? So on Saturdays, me and... <laughs> your boy. We'd go out there and we'd pull the animal bodies off of the highway and we would bury the animals and get them right with God, right? So one weekend we're burying something. I don't even remember what it was. Could have been a dog, could have been a, could have been a tall raccoon, actually. <laughs> could, could have been a small man with a lot of hairy legs and long foot nails, okay? If it was a man, I didn't recognize him. So we're putting them in the ground, whatever it was, and in the dirt, we found a stack of nudie magazines. You know, titty literature, man. And we never seen anything like this. We were children, you know? We were middle-aged children. We never seen no sex booklets. We never seen no sex at all, man. We just thought people was just hugging real angrily. So we crack open this sex booklet, and in the picture, they got people doing sex. But right in the picture where the peony and the vagina kind of met each other, somebody cut that area out. That's how we felt. Somebody cut that area out with like a knife or like a small saw. So we crack open the next page, man. And right there in the same thing, they got pictures of people with the penises and the vaginuses just attacking each other like angry Germans in the distance. And somebody cut that area out with like a knife or like a baby quiet jackhammer. So we were so angry, man. And we kept looking through every picture and every page and the same thing. Six, 700 pictures, somebody cut out that magical little area, man. Somebody clipped that insertion and taking it with them. Somebody running around town with a bunch of fuck fetty on them. Just ready to just have it all. Ready to just throw a surprise party for their libido. So we were furious and curious. And that's two things you do not want a child to be. We wanted to see it all, man. 